Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Could I have a three-minute clock, please? Thank you. Mr. Speaker, I rise to speak on the budget bill before this chamber today. Over the past few hours, we've heard a parade of speakers bemoaning this budget. We've heard about a list of cuts, a list of funding decreases, and even a list of line items that were increased, but not increased enough. Now, it might surprise some on the other side of the aisle who have made these critiques that I agree with them on many of their thoughts. I don't like to see funding decreases. It's no fun dealing with the financial choices facing the Commonwealth today. I don't like that we have to spend one in $27 in this budget just to service the state's current debt burden. I don't like the irresponsible borrowing from years gone by that gave us the debt burden that we have today. I don't like that we have to put one, over one and a half billion dollars of this year's budget into SIRS and PEASERS. That's almost a half a billion dollar increase over last year because the state underfunded the pension plan for years. But I refuse to live in a fiscal fantasy land. I may not like the cards that have been dealt, but they are the cards that we must play with. I believe the people of Pennsylvania deserve better than political pandering. They deserve a legislature that is square with them about the financial challenges facing our Commonwealth. The truth is that anyone can wax eloquently about a deserving cause that merits additional funds, but it takes a leader to look at limited resources and prioritize accordingly. Now look, it takes no courage to vote no on this budget today, but I believe that we need to be honest with the people of Pennsylvania. We have real financial challenges. Let's not forget, in the very near future, we will have to come to a solution on the tens of billions of additional dollars that are required to bring the state pension funds to solvency. Billions more for transportation infrastructure. These are tough issues. They will demand leadership. Let's start by moving forward with a fiscally responsible budget today. I encourage an affirmative vote.